Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Taurus love prediction reading for July 8th through July 14th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. Hey, if you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humble, most honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, fun, stubborn, kind, sweet, Taurus. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on my Taurus, my loving Taurus, my patient Taurus? Let's see. Show me spirit, guys. What you got going on, Taurus? Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. And the Death card. <laughs> well, I want to tell you, uh, Tars. This is someone with, that was just as stubborn as you. When I say just as stubborn as you, he knew what he wanted. He never gave up. This nine of wands is here. That's not my never give up card. You told this man 150 flipping times that you didn't want to even be bothered with him. And when I say that, you just you just kept telling him. I, I, let me not say. Let me not be so harsh to you. You told him that not at this time. You were not looking. You were not taking applications for any man. You were not looking for a man. But he just would not give up. I see, he's, he's just as stubborn. He kept coming back. And that's one of the things that you were, that I'm going to say it really kind of turns you on. Because this nine of wands leads, leads your reading. This is somebody that's in your love space that he didn't give a flip. How many times you told him no? He was not going anywhere. He was not leaving. He was going to keep coming back. And he did. You were single. This nine of pentacles. You were doing your own thing. Having your own, hey, have them doing life. Had your own money, own mindset, own thoughts. You were single, single and loving it. You weren't. You were fine. You were not taking applications for a man. Now here's the deal. He start he, because he was so persistent. Because he never gave up. Gave up. That two of pentacles is in the middle of your reading. That two of pentacles is all about your emotions were everywhere. You and when I say everywhere, you couldn't you couldn't make up your mind because you know it's something about someone that keeps coming at you. Something about it because um, that two of pentacles is where you were saying, should I stay or should, should, I mean, should I give him a chance or should I not? It was like, you know, yes, no, you know, you know, the, the check, you didn't know what, what, what to check on the piece of paper. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, I mean, what, what do I do? This man keeps coming at me and, and it's got to be something here. It's not like he was being um, nasty or mean or anything like that. He just didn't give up. He just wouldn't give up. Now, here is what I see. I think you made the best choice ever, and I think you gave this man a chance. I think you gave him a chance because here's his Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about celebration. Three of Cups can also be about engagement. Um, three of Cups is about having a good time with your friends. Three of Cups is about a, a, a celebration. I think you gave him a chance, and it turned you and you kicked yourself when you figured out, how could I have ever turned him down before? I also see the death card here, which is a transformation card. So, which also can represent a Scorpio sun sign. This death card is transformation, but it also represents a Scorpio sun sign, which for me lets me know that you there was some type of transformation. You've gone from single to being with someone that is, and I'm going to just step out and say it. I'm going to clarify here in a minute, but someone that is the love of your life. Someone that you how did you how could you ever not have given this man a chance? That's what I see here. You've gone from not giving him a chance to him being the love of your life. That's what I think with this transformation with this death card. You made a transformation because here's this three of cups. You know, the three of cups, like I said, is kicking it, but it's with your friends, it's a celebration. So I think that you've fallen in love, you gave him a chance, you said yes. 
and I think that it has transformed your life. It has changed your world. Now, give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. What additional information? Sit back, relax. Taurus, let me let me see. What additional information do the spirit guides want you to know? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the nine of wands here? I'm going to clarify just to see. Give me... Little mama, let me see. Why is the Nine of Wands here for my Taurus? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Page of Cups? Yeah, okay. So I see why you didn't want to give him a chance. Uh, I shouldn't say that, why you didn't want to give him a chance. But he's young. He's younger than you. He's a Page of Cups, too. He's fun, though. He's younger than you. He may be different than you. I've seen a lot of this Page of Cups is showing up uh, a lot in my readings. But uh, people are taking chances with love. And when I say that, you took a chance with him because he could be younger than you. He could be a different ethnicity. You could be African American. He could be Caucasian. You could be he could be uh, Asian. He could be Latino. You, people are giving people a chance. He's but he is definitely younger than you. I think that was one of the reasons why he did not give up because he knew he wanted to be with you. But I think one of the reasons why you didn't want to be with him was the main fact that he was younger than you, and he's different. He's different than you. He's different. Like I said, ethnicity-wise, he could be different. Let's see why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Because you really were not taking applications. You were not taking applications for a man. So let's see why this Nine of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. The world card. Oh, he shut it down. He shut it down. The world card means, you know, a new cycle. You're starting, you ending this cycle of being alone. Of being single. Oh, he shut it down. He came in correct. He came in. He absolutely came in correct. He shut this down. There is no more. What are you talking about? I mean, you. I mean, he. Sh when I see the world is completing a cycle, it's, it's, it's starting a new cycle. And it's, it's the beginning of a new cycle. I say it's completing a cycle. And this cycle is complete of you being alone and being single. You completed that cycle. Because he's come in and shut it down. He said he wanted to be with you, and he said he was going to be with you, and he never gave up. He never gave up. This man never gave up. Like I said, he may be young. He may be a different ethnicity. It really doesn't matter. He never gave up. So let's see why this Two of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for my Taurus? Show me. King of Pentacles. Girl. Wow. That's all I got to say is Wow. He's young. He's got money. I mean, maybe one of the reasons why, too, you feel he was young and he had money. King of Pentacles tend to, tends to have what they want because they do have this money. I think that's why you were indecisive whether you should give him, you should have given him a chance. But he shut all that down. He shut all that down because you knew that women are going to chase him. He doesn't chase them. They chase him because of his money. But, you know, the thing is with the Taurus, the Taurus has their own money, too. A Taurus knows how to make their paper, too. So I think that did not intimidate you as much, but you just knew that there was going to be a lot of women that you would have to deal with to deal with this total situation. And he's younger than you. You know, it's almost like you question, you got money, you're younger than me. Why do you want me? So let's see why the Three of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Three of Cups here? Six of Wands. I told you. The Six of Wands winning. You know, you almost kicked yourself because you can't. You don't understand. When you gave this man a chance, you have money. You have love. He's younger than you. He's good looking. He got it going on. I mean, he's fun. All of that. Look at that Six of Wands or that Three of Cups. Yeah, you're winning. You're winning because I do believe this is going to be, this is a celebration here. This would be you and your girl, your friend girls, you know, kicking in and talking about it. But it also could be a wedding that's coming. Also could be a wedding that's coming. You gave this man a chance and this could be a, ma a wedding. So let's see why this death card is here. Why is the death card? What's this transformation? Show me spirit guys. Why is the death card here? Show me spirit guys. Page of wands. Well, now the page of wands is he has changed your world. I will say that. Page of wands. He is fun. He's got money. He likes to learn things. He likes to do things. He's a um. There, he he's put you on a whole different world, whole different path. You fall in love with someone, um, because you know you kind of were doing your own thing, just kind of just kind of going through life. 
He's adventurer. He's an adventurer. He does things. And he has the money to do them. I don't know he could have his own business. I don't know what he has. But if it's the king of pentacles, he has his money. So he also, he's young, he has money, and he's an adventurer. He has changed your life in for good, in a good way. He has changed your life in a good way. Let's start at the very beginning, Nine of Wands. This man didn't give up. He's younger than you. He might be a different ethnicity than you. He's different than you. He's simply, he's fun, though. He just simply didn't give up. He simply didn't give up. You didn't want to give him a chance. You were single and doing life and enjoying life. Um, you weren't taking applications for a man. But here, he shut it down because the world card is here. This cycle of being single is over. He said, I want you. I'm not giving up. And I'm going to keep going till I get you. And here you are, the two of pentacles, in the middle of the reading, trying to figure out, do I give this man a chance or do I not? Then here's this king of pentacles that can cloud things too. Because I'm not saying you don't have your own money. Absolutely you do. But he has money too. You know you'll have to deal with women. You know some of those gold diggers. You know what I'm saying. But here's the three of cups is here. The three of cups is here. And when you see this three of cups. That is about having a celebration. That is about possibly marriage. Because I see the six of wands which says me that you're winning. You gave him a chance. And he changed your world. He changed your life. And here you are with this three of cups celebration with your friend girls having a good time. This could be a bachelorette party. This could be a wedding. This this screams marriage to me. But I still see the death card, which is transformation, which can represent a Scorpio sun sign. But then there's that page of wands because what he has done, he's given you a sense of life again. He's given you life again. There is absolutely an opportunity for you to marry this man. But he's also, he's a page of wands. He's an adventurer. He, he likes to do things. He likes to learn things. He likes to do things. And he's got money. He's got money. He's an adventurer. And he's young. And he loves you. And he loves you. So let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me spirit, guys. What do my oracles have to say? Wow. First card out. Big happy changes. Big happy changes. Absolutely. Big happy change. Wow. Yes. 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 And you know, I'm going to pull this meditation brings answers. My favorite card is coming out. So I'm going to pull it. Whatever your higher power is, whoever you pray to. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, a year from now. I told you I see marriage here. I see marriage here. A year from now could be a marriage. Success is coming out. Success is coming out. And I'm telling you. This is a relationship that has changed, has changed you, has changed you, has you built a life. I mean, it's just, what can I say? And you know what I'm going to pull? Because it's the last card that has come out. I'm going to pull it and it says, yes, yes, you gave him a chance and it worked out. That's what I got for you for your love prediction reading, Taurus.